All right, guys, here we go. Straight automatic transmission fluid in our truck. <laughs> it's like the opposite of viscous. It's like this viscous. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. All right guys, so uh, this is gonna be one of the last fill videos we'll be doing with the truck. If you guys wanna see more, comment below. We are changing the content up after this video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date. Not too sure what we're gonna do with it after these videos are over. We'll figure that out. If you guys have any ideas, drop them below. So today guys, what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna see if you can use ATF, AKA automatic transmission fluid as fuel in a diesel. We looked it up. There's several guys that actually mix the stuff in with diesel, but we haven't really found anyone that's done it straight. So that's what we're here for. We're gonna drain the tank completely of diesel and then put two gallons of ATF in it and see if the truck runs. So if you guys remember correctly, last video we used McDonald's frying grease in the truck and it actually worked really well. The only thing is it's been sitting in the lines for a week now. It's been sitting in the fuel bowl for a week. So we really don't know if the truck is actually gonna start up or not. I think it'll start, but yeah. Let's see if the truck starts real quick. So hopefully this thing starts, because if not, that sucks. Let's see. Hey. Hey, the cookie roll did it. I say let's go to our test pad to do the rest of this video, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so we are actually about to take the fuel cap off the fuel bowl to drain out what fuel is left. Oh. And there goes the cooking oil. All right, so uh, here's the McDonald's frying grease. Let's see how dirty it is. It's, it is what it is. Okay. It's really not that terrible. All right, guys, so now we got the fuel filter out of the fuel bowl. We're gonna go ahead and start draining all the old McDonald's fry grease out of the system. That way we can run 100% straight ATF for this video. Go ahead, Joe. That grease is disgusting. I feel like we're giving the truck a new kidney. It's taking so long. I don't know if it's the viscosity of the grease that's making it come out so slow. We're gonna be here for a minute. So guys, the low fuel light just came on, and as you can see right there, we have a lot of air bubbles coming out of the fuel line. So that indicates we're almost completely empty. Oh dang, that's fast. All right guys, we got the fuel bowl completely drained as well as the fuel tank, obviously. So check it out. There is pretty much nothing in it, just some residue. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy, oop, that's dripping. We're gonna go ahead and put the fuel filter back on it like that and screw it on in. You guys know the drill. And should probably tighten it real quick. All right guys, here we go. Straight automatic transmission fluid in our truck. We got two gallons of it. Let's go ahead and dump her in the tank. <laughs> All right, so just to prove to you guys, this is ATF. I'm not gonna cut this part. Here's the seal, here's my thumb. Hold on. Oh, sh oh. <laughs> was not expecting that. Three, two, one. In goes the ATF. This is like way, way less thick than vegetable oil. It's much similar to diesel. Woo! Stuff looks like straight blood. Obviously we spilled a little bit of it on the ground. That's okay though. We'll clean it up. All right guys, the first gallon, or more so like three-fourths of a gallon, is in the tank. The rest is on the ground. <laughs> gallon number two. Gallon number two going in the tank. Chris might have to hold it this time. Here we go. Why is that so warm? This has been sitting in the back of a truck. It's in the sun. It's like the opposite of viscous. It's like this viscous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going in the hole. This is the transmission fill port, right? <laughs> It's funny because we have a slipping transmission and we don't we don't fill the transmission up with ATF. We fill the fuel tank up with ATF. Now I gotta put diesel in the transmission. <laughs> don't even Thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if this video hits 10,000 likes, we'll put diesel in the transmission and we'll see if it still drives. The answer is yes, it's a Ford. Of course it will. Not gonna go anywhere fast or reliably, but it'll do it. It'll blow up the Ford again. Woo! That's two gallons of ATF in the freaking fuel tank. All right guys, drop a comment. You know the drill if you've been here for a while. Will this truck run on ATF? Let's find out. I think it'll start because there's you know, still a little bit of cooking on the lines. Not much, just a little bit. But uh, will it start and continue to run is the question. Three, two, one. Ad break. You should have like, you 
it with the camera to him and he'll add a break. Add, add break! break. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh, oh. That sounds terrible. Give me some ATF! Woo! I'm flooring it right now. Look at that. This might help your transmission issue. Hey, wait, let it off real quick. Bro, sick cam. Oh, there it goes. We're good. It's back to normal. All right, let's see if it smokes. But will it drive? Let's find out. It's so fast. Woo. Definitely feels a little bit more sluggish, I would say. I mean, it is a 7.3, but at least it goes farther than a 6.0, right? Yeah, maybe the ATF will just magically find its way to the transmission from the fuel line. That'd be amazing. Hell yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I don't think there's that big of an oil leak in this thing. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, you guys were commenting last video. Yes, the power steering does not work very well. I am the power steering in this truck. Which means it's not very effective. Yeah, it's still pretty <laughs> sluggish. You smell that? Everything is neutral now. <laughs> what is this, a 4L60? All right, guys, we've been driving around with just straight ATF as fuel for a couple miles now, and there's really no obvious difference. Uh, it maybe feels a little bit more sluggish, but it's running like it normally would on diesel. So guys, what we're gonna do uh, before we get to the rest of this video, we're gonna see how long this truck can do a burnout on ATF with this tire because this tire is about bald as fuck. <laughs> so we got a spare tire we're gonna throw on, but um, let's see if the truck can do a burnout on the ATF. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna go first, <laughs> the tire or the transmission? No, we... The transmission was slipping so bad, so here we go. Well, we put two gallons of ATF in the wrong hole. It's still a hole, right? No. <laughs> All right, guys, we're applying tire lube because we're having some issues getting the old F-350 to spin. Oh, yes. oh sh it's hot. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Other tire. Other tire. This feels like a fire hazard. Bro, did you armor all this tire? It looks great. Oh, my God, Chris. Okay, Chris, that's enough. That's it. We're good. Buddy. I know. We used a whole gallon. <laughs> Gave the tire diabetes. All right, here we go. Holy sh! You can hear it like crackling. I think it's gonna take a little longer to pop. <laughs> oh yeah. Bring it on back! So that Hello. puddle underneath the truck is actually ATF from the transmission. So what Gabe's idea was was to open the fuel bowl, pump some of the ATF out of the fuel bowl and into the transmission. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Cause we want to blow these tires off or blow a tire off. Or blow something. And hopefully not blow a tranny. Still full of water. That looks like chocolate milk. That looks disgusting. That should be red. Yeah, not gray. I want to know why it's only squirting out of that one Dude, spot. she is so happy. Oh, I think it's done now. Yeah, it, it pressure it relieved. Out. It fizzled. Use those Levi's. Oof, that oh. was like, oh, it's all red. That's ATF. You know, if this works, gosh dang, dude. <laughs> That just looks so wrong. You hear the pump? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's not like ATF is flammable or anything. Is it? Yes. It is very. But it's fl highly flammable. Very flammable. All right, guys, and that is how you do a transmission flush with diesel ATF. Keep in mind, guys, we are not Chris Fix. That is not the right way to do it. Hey. We got a Chris. All right, guys, we got the transmission topped off with ATF. Our special ATF cooking oil blend. We're just gonna send it, guys. So, all right, for all of y'all that are talking shit, first off, this truck is paid off. This is a 20-year-old truck. It probably has more than 300,000 miles on it for the simple fact that the gauge cluster was swapped and the cluster says 230,000 miles, but no one swaps in a cluster with more miles than the truck actually had. The steering's loose as hell, and honestly, the truck's on his last legs. So we've been having fun with it. Guys, this truck isn't worth much. It is what it is. 
and we're just having fun with it. Don't get butt hurt, it's not allowed. We're here to have fun, that's what we're gonna do. And Chris is doing a Fortnite dance. Up. Keep going. Let's send it! Look underneath it! Oh no! <laughs> That's not good. Hey! Keep going! Oh! Oh, it's so bad. Hey guys, we actually just got our own Discord set up. We'll be dropping a link in the description. We have channels for your memes, channels for your builds, and stop in and say hello whenever you get a chance. Thanks. The cow really has a, the cow really has a lot. Whoa! Whoa, the Roman candle! Whoa!